Did you know that Microsoft Word can take an audio file and create a transcription with just a few clicks? Word can even detect different speakers in the file and organize the output according to the different speakers. It's pretty cool. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do it. So let's get started. It's worth mentioning off the bat that I'm using Microsoft Word 365 for this tutorial. And if you don't have access to this, you can then head over to word.new in your internet browser and sign in or create a free Microsoft account and have access to the same features I'm about to show you. So there are two approaches to transcribing in Word. Either upload an audio file from your computer or start a new recording directly inside of Word and I'll show you both approaches. Starting with the upload file option. Within Word, ensure you go to the home tab. On the far right, you should see an option called voice with a little microphone symbol. Select the little down arrow and then choose transcribe. This will open the transcribe menu to the right. At the time of making this tutorial, if you have a Microsoft 365 account, you can actually upload unlimited minutes of audio of transcription. So make sure you take advantage of this offer before it changes. Select your language from the drop down menu and choose upload audio. Then find your file on the computer. Word accepts most major file types, including MP3, WAVE and M4A. After opening the audio file, Word will then take a few minutes to upload the file to your OneDrive account and then transcribe it. You are now ready to review and edit the transcription. At the top, you can play back the audio file from within Word. Under this, you will see the transcription, including the timestamp, the speaker name, and the audio. What's cool is that Word will follow transcription as it's being played back. Now this is an excellent time to make some edits. As you play back the recording, you may notice some slight errors, especially in grammar, as the process is not perfect, but it's certainly a great start. To edit the text, select the block and then the pencil icon that appears. It's as simple as adjusting the text and selecting the tick icon to save your changes. Another cool feature is the ability to change the speaker's name. Word automatically detects different speakers within the transcription and labels them as speaker one, to etc. This is very useful if you're working with podcast files. In this example, I only have one speaker, me. So all the text has the speaker one attached to it. To change the name, again, edit the block and adjust the top box. You can then tick this option to change all instances where this speaker speaks. And don't forget to save your changes. Once you're happy with the transcripts, it's now time to insert it into your Word document. You have two options for this. You can add individual sections or the full transcript. To add a section, select it and click the plus icon. If you want to add the full transcript instead, select the add to document button. You can then choose to add just the text from the transcript, text with speaker names, text with timestamps or everything. I'll choose the last option. The full transcript and a link to the original audio file in OneDrive will then be added. You can then make any final changes and save the file. It's important to note that you can only transcribe one audio file for one Word file. So if you want to transcribe a different audio file, you either have to open up a new Word document or select new transcription and delete the previous file. So that's how you can transcribe an audio file. Let me quickly show you how to record and transcribe within Word itself. As before, go to the Home tab, Voice, and then select Transcribe. Select your desired language and then choose to start the recording. Word will then capture the audio from your microphone. To pause and unpause the recording, you can hit this microphone button. Once you've finished, select the Save and Transcribe Now button. Word will then upload the WAV file to your OneDrive account and transcribe the audio as before. You can then edit and insert the transcription into the document. And that's it. So that's how you can transcribe audio within Microsoft Word. And while you're here, why not check out my other Word tutorials like this one, where I show you how to start page numbers from a specific page. Something that seems simple enough to do, but it's actually a pain unless you know how to do it. And I'll see you there.